and welcome to today's video. So as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be all about how to survive high school. If you can hear a little doggy or hear some scratching or sniffing or anything like that, Finn is on my lap right now and, you know, he's just doing his thing. But today I'm filming a how to survive high school. I survived high school. I'm a survivor. Put your hands up if you have got through high school. I mean, you probably haven't considering you're watching this video, but you might just be like loyal and dedicated. Props to you if you are. So I've written down in my little notebook that has a plaster on it because why not? Um, ten things? Five things? I think it was five things on my tips on how to survive high school. So as you guys know, I didn't have the best high school experience, but I also wasn't a bad student and I didn't really have much drama surrounding me. So yeah, there were a lot of people in my school that had like drama 24-7 and were always getting suspended and stuff like that. And I, I never really had that. I just had a pretty chill life apart from like the few mishaps. If you want to hear more about my high school experience, I'll link some videos below <laughs> because I guess new people that have come just from this video won't really know about all that stuff, but they tried to sue me, I was catfished, I was just like harassed at that school, honestly. But yeah, here are my tips on how to survive high school. And there's a little piece of hair, like somewhere around here, that's really irking me. I can't swear anymore because of that, you know, hashtag YouTube is over thing. Cool, thanks. I have five things. Five things that I think are main things that you need to remember while in high school. And I abided by all of these things and they really did help me. So my first tip is be kind. I abided by this throughout the whole of high school. If there was a new kid in the class, I would always invite them to come and sit with me. Um, there was this girl called Sophie that moved in year nine. She was like from London and she moved to a different school. And um, yeah, like she was new and I just kind of invited her over because when you move in high school and you're in like a really random year, it's so hard for you to make friends. I've never experienced it, but I know that a lot of people would just push you out. So I just tried to like, you know, invite her in and make her feel comfortable. And she ended up being friends with me and my friend group, which was really nice. She was really, really lovely. She had a really cute little sister. And yeah, I just think being kind is so important, not just in high school, in like daily life. Like, <laughs> there's no point being mean and rude and unkind and just like, there's no point to it. Like, you don't get anything from it. Like, you just don't like, be kind to people. Like, it helps you make friends. If you go in on your first day of school and you compliment a few people, people are already getting to know that you're a nice person. That, like, people are going to gravitate towards you because you seem like a nice person with, like, good karma surrounding them. So, be kind. It's so easy to do. Like, it really is. Number two, don't gossip. Half the time, it's not true. And the other half of the time, it's something that you shouldn't really know. Like... I've had a lot of people make things up about me, I know that in my school so many people just made so much crap up, this whole not swearing thing is really getting to me, so many people in my high school made so much shit up, I'll beep it out, whatever, about other people and it's just like, there's no point to it, like, yeah there might be some juicy stories, you can listen to them but don't spread them because it's just not, it's, it's not cool, it's not a nice thing to do, it goes along with the be kind thing, like, you don't gain anything from it, like, it might gain you a few friends who also like to gossip and they're probably not the type of people you want to be hanging around with. <laughs> it also give you a bad reputation. People won't trust you. If, like, someone needs to turn to you about something, then people won't trust you. A lot of my friends come to me for things, like, if they need someone that they can really rely on and really trust, a lot of them come to me because they know that I won't, like, go around telling people shit. Like, even people that weren't necessarily my friend, like, so many people in high school knew that I was someone trustworthy and if they told me something I wouldn't tell other people and a lot of people that I wasn't exactly friends with like in my close friendship group those people still came up to me if they had an issue or something that they needed help with they would still come to me for that like just you know you know it gives you a bad reputation if you go around gossiping about everybody's life and it's just not a polite thing to do either <laughs> number three this is something that I live by and this is each for their own just because your best friend doesn't like somebody else doesn't mean that you have to dislike them too like if someone hasn't done something that personally affects me, I will judge them how I want to judge them. I will perceive them how I perceive them. I'm not going to let other people's opinions on that person influence my own. Like, 
I'm just not going to let that happen. I don't think it's fair to that person. Like, yeah, sure, they might have been a dick to that person, but that was in the past. They might have changed since then. They've never personally hurt me, so I don't have a problem with them. I think that's a really good way to think. I think if you form your opinion from somebody else's opinion of somebody, then I think it's just so unfair and it's just rude. Like, you don't know anything about them. It's not a polite thing to do. I don't know. I really disagree with it. I think it's not fair at all to just hear something about someone and then judge them because of it. It's like it's like gossiping. Like if you hear that someone killed somebody and then you think, oh, I don't want to be friends with them because they're a murderer. Like, you know, you have no proof of that. You've just heard that from somebody else. I know that's a bit extreme, but it's an example. You know what I mean? Like, innocent until proven guilty. Four. High school actually doesn't matter. Like, and this I would have hated future me for saying this while I was in high school. Like, I actually would have hated future me, future me for saying this because, I don't know, like, when I was in high school, I was like, it does matter, like, I've got so long left and I just don't know what to do with myself. I, w I had a bad mental state throughout high school, like, I did go through a lot of things in high school and that was my lowest point. Those, that, like, that, like, part of my life. So here's like pre-high school, here's like high school, here's after high school, which hasn't been that long. But that part of my life was so, I don't know, it was so restricting and it was horrible. If you knew me while I was in high school, that was the lowest point I've ever been at in my life. And a lot of people think, oh, you've got such a privileged life, like you've got like white privilege, blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, I do have, like, white privilege and stuff like that, but I haven't had a privileged life. And believe it or not, I don't need you to believe me. I know <laughs> what's happened in my life. But from, like, probably the age of 2 to the age of 15, I had a rocky life. Like, I really, really did. Like, I'm not going to go into details because I don't want to spew every single detail of my life on the internet but I've talked about it in my vlog channel a lot like I didn't come from a privileged family my mom's a single mom she's not employed like I didn't have rich privileged things like if I needed new school shoes I'd have to wait three months I'd go to school with like fucking holes in my shoes for god knows how long like you know what I mean I didn't get like the best of everything like you know what I mean I haven't had a privileged life and high school was a very tiny part of that and when I was in high school, it felt like the only thing that mattered, like, getting amazing grades and doing this and doing that and getting full attendance. I felt it felt like the only thing that mattered. And realistically, high I was in high school for five years and overall that is such a tiny part of my life. And while I was going through it, it felt like such a long period of time. But looking back, it went so, so fast. Like, now that I finished, it went so fast. It really, really did. When you're in the moment, it feels like... It just goes on forever, but I promise as soon as you finish, I promise that as soon as you finish high school, you're going to look back and be like, whoa, that went so fast. Now, for my fifth tip, I wrote down, wrote down, sorry, head over homework. And this is because, this kind of relates to like stress and stuff like that. When I was in high school, I had to go on medication for my stress and my anxiety and my depression. I had to go on medication for all those things all those things because it got so bad while I was in high school because I was letting my mental health slip because I was putting grades before my head so head over homework not homework over head so don't let go of your mental state to get amazing grades that is my personal belief that's my personal belief it might not be what you believe but personally I think your mental health and keeping yourself strong is so much more important than getting an A star in history so yeah that is just my my advice i don't mean like throw your grades like out the window but like you know what i mean don't stress yourself out over things if you've been invited to like i don't know like a rihanna concert or something if you've been invited to like lana del rey's concert and you're like no i can't go because i'm gonna do homework fuck that like god i'm gonna have to put so many beeps in this video but honestly Forget your homework, go to that concert, you're going to make life experiences, that is so, so important, like, honestly, I would have probably, like, I don't know what I would have missed, but I'd miss a lot to go and see Lana, you know what I mean, if you get offered to go and see your favourite singer, screw the homework, honestly, go and make life experiences, go and have fun, don't put your mental health underneath homework, this is what the scale should be, mental health 
homework, grades, school. Not school, grades, homework, mental health. Never put your mental health second to schoolwork. And that's coming from someone that's had to deal with like, you know, a lot of mental health issues during school and a lot of things were triggered because of school. Like I said, my lowest point was during school, so yeah. Just some advice from someone that has been there and gone through it and... So that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe. Maybe share this video with a friend who's going to be joining high school soon because I think I gave you some pretty good advice. But yeah, if you guys want to share the link to this with any of your friends, send it to your group chats. Let me know in the comments. If you and also, comment down below telling me your top tip for going back to school or high school or something like that. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!